Hey, hi, hello, and howdy. It's me, Mushy, and you're, well, you're you. Hello, you. And we're here at Dark and Creepy Diamond Painting with a whip and chat for uh, Wings and Things, our second canvas. This is the skull with roses. Here is like a updated uh, peeky poo, if you will, at our progress. I am about halfway done with this. Maybe, well, exactly halfway done with this, plus a little sprinkling done down here. I wanted you to have an overall view before we dive into the up close, nitty gritty, chitty chatty. All right, let's get to work. All right, you guys, before we get too deep into it, I want to start you off as usual with the tools of the trade. So I am using my art.light board down here with my 90 degree angle charging cord. You can't really see it, but uh, trust me, that's what it is. It's an art.light board and a 90 degree angled charging cord. Um, I will be using my, what is this called? Poison kiss? Poisonous kiss? Uh, I believe a deadly kiss. Thank you. That's what it was. Deadly Kiss Pen by Patriotic Team. And I also will be using the trays that I have been testing from Ephemera 3D in the gray color. And then I will, you will see, or I will be using um, cover sheets from Dreadful Nightmare DA on Etsy. Uh, kind of using, using these up. Um, they cover a big surface and I like big to work on big sections so it works out for me for that purpose and then classify uh, Elizabeth Ward style modular system here with homemade labels because uh, that's how I rocked it all right you guys um, oh and the rulers some Timu round rulers these are my favorite kind the plum or plum blossom plum flower and you may be surprised to know I am drinking water, not Dr. Pepper this time. Okay. And I almost forgot. Uh, I do have, uh, which one is in here? Mystery. I have mystery putty in my pen, but I did order some pearl, which came today and I would like to test it out. I will be, um, making a video hopefully for Sunday. Um, kind of depends. Uh, Leah does have to work, so she cannot do a crochet with Leah live. She will be at work. And uh, unless y'all want to get up at like five o'clock in the morning, I know she doesn't. So uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that can't happen this Sunday because of boo work, bills, blah, paycheck, you know. So this is the pearl formula and I already turned off my lights. You can't, gosh darn it. I want you to see it's really sparkly. Look at that. Like, I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but it is got sparkles all up in there. I do remember seeing a TikTok where he said, um, yes, there are sparkles all over this thing, but it will not come off on your drills or your canvas. It will stay in the putty. So what I'm doing is I'm picking out my little nubbin of mystery and it's not mystery putty. It's, I mean, it's alien putty. It's the formula mystery, which was the red and black. I was keeping on, on brand here with what we're working on, but, uh, I want to test this out. So, um, but like I said, a full video, uh, is coming soon, hopefully Sunday. Um, but if not ASAP on just the the different formulas I have, what I like to use them for, uh, which, you know, what do I like? What don't I like? What are the, you know, similarities? What are the differences? Just my thoughts and opinions for whatever those might be worth to anyone. Um, I'm a huge fan of Alien Putty uh, in general, but each formula kind of has like its own pros, proses, proses and conses. Um, <sighs> If you couldn't tell, you guys, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty, getting pretty late. So Mushy's not, uh, uh, doesn't have her A game on <laughs> verbally right now. Sorry. But I thought, you know, it has been, okay, real quick though. 
not disparaging. I, anybody who's, you know, see me on TikTok or, you know, seen the links in my videos and stuff, I love Chris and I love Make Your Own Wall Art. Um, so this is not a disparaging comment when I say this, but if you take a look at this, um, tell me that <laughs> this does not look like he's holding aliens hostage in his, uh, house or warehouse, wherever he works and makes this. Um, he, you cannot convince me that he's not holding aliens hostage, waiting for them to, you know, have a bowel movement, collecting it and shoving it in this tin. It's, he calls it alien putty, but I bet you it's really alien. It looks like a little alien turdlet. <laughs> he just shoved it in there. Actually, I don't think he he he's the one that does this. Um, sadly, I think he tasks dear old mama with that. Um, Mrs. M Mommy Miawa uh, is the one that has to poop, make the little alien poop. <laughs> So when I say alien poo, it's not because I think it's pooey or junky. It's because uh, it resembles the general shape of what I imagine um, excrement shoved into a tin might look like. <laughs> I mean, like, but colorful. <laughs> looks like what I think alien poo looks like. Don't judge me. Um, Galaxy, maybe you can tell us. Uh, since you are the alien queen... You can change your name all you want. Uh, you will you will forever be the alien queen. Maybe you can let let the people know. Um, is that in fact alien excrement? Is that what an alien turd looks like? Uh, you know, an alien log, if you will. All right, we're going with the ampersand. Some gray. Oh, so <clears throat> yikes! All right, so let's talk shall we shall we talk hi um it's been a while since we've done a proper whip and chat i have ignore the dry skin on my hands sorry guys um i have some uh you know dry skin on my hands and no amount of lotion on this planet or no kind of lotion on this planet can fix it did i not let me see we're testing, we're testing Pearl out while we go. Pearl was very soft and sticky. It did give me lucky vibes. Um, yeah, but so far we're, we're doing okay now. All right. So, um, how are we doing? I can tell you that I am extremely tired. Uh, right now I am filming on Friday, f February. No, not February, April, April 19th. 2024. Uh, yes, it is the actual, uh, I am working on, <laughs> I am working this late on my second anniversary. Wait, not second anniversary. I am working this late on my second first anniversary, but to be fair, everybody had to work today. Leah had to work today. Sundown had to work today and I was busy. I did get, um, I did get a completion done. Unfortunately, a majority of you will not get to see that. I'm sorry. Uh, it was a tier three membership um, sector of the channel finish. It's a special canvas for, for that membership tier over there. It was a square, um, I believe it was 45 by 50 if I, if I recall. I mean, I just literally filmed the poster viewing kit down for that and I already forgot how big it was um, I think I'm trying to block that entire canvas from my mind at least for tonight it did turn out really well however it was a 40 either a 40 by 45 by 50 45 by 60 gosh darn it it was big okay it was big I mean big in terms of I usually work on 30 by 40s um, it was pretty sizable and it was square and, uh, um, very confetti heavy, <laughs> very, 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 very confetti heavy. Uh, I thought put a ring on it was the most confettidocious canvas I had, uh, ever handled in my life until I met the canvas I just finished. Um, 
it was a spicy campus if anyone's curious of what uh the mystery is it was spicy but that's all i can tell you that's all i can tell you um and it took 73 hours of my life <laughs> to... yeah and i i mean i was you know that's just active active time uh you know that's not as well, some of it's a little bit estimate. I mean, there might have been a couple times where maybe I went to use the urination station and forgot to stop the timer. I don't have enough room between my rulers to facilitate the placement of this drill. So let's just relocate it to um, somewhere like that where it goes. Good. Good job. Um, and this, uh, you are a random drill that doesn't belong there. I don't know how you got there. Uh, are you a gray? You're, are you one of these? No, you're lighter. You are just a random hopper that like took a ride. Okay. Uh, hi. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pretty tired. Wednesday, you may have seen the post, uh, that if you're a member of our Facebook group, but Wednesday, we did have to travel up to St. Louis for medical things. And, okay, that's all the ampersands. Well, that was uh, anticlimactic. Um, we did have to go up to St. Louis to Barnes Jewish for a entire day, uh, open to close kind of day at the doctor for sundown. Um, and he had his MS infusions, which took six hours. And then he had a two and a half hour MRI after that because they were doing multiple body parts with two different kinds of dye. Um, so that was, that was fun. Uh, <laughs> exhausting. That was exhausting. When I say that was fun, that was code for exhausting. We left home at, uh, 2 a.m. Wednesday morning. We got up there. Capital E. We got up there at uh, about 7.30 in the morning. And his infusions started at 8. So um, they do give him a cocktail of uh, anti, I guess like anti-inflammatory, some steroids and like Benadryl and stuff in case of an allergic reaction. It's kind of counteracted from the get-go. See these, this canvas, I'm struggling a little bit to read like the difference between capital E and F. If I recall, the F is lighter. So we're just going to go with it. Sorry if I'm blinding you with me switching the brightness. Um, Oh, yeah, the F is real clear. Okay, now I recall. It's been a while since I've been, it's been several days since I've been able to tackle this canvas. So, uh, my mind was a little fuzzy on the difference. But anyway, uh, so yeah. Um, so he gets a little cocktail that makes him drowsy and helps him sleep through through I think that was it okay sleep through the infusion uh, because it does take so long and you know all that stuff you know that's just like a bonus for him he gets like a a, a life-saving um, nap time cocktail mushy does not <laughs> have that benefit <laughs> uh, so um, I guess uh, I was asleep in the parking garage in the car uh, didn't I didn't even have recollection of him going uh, we pulled into that parking spot and I think I was snoring before the handicap placard went up on the on the uh, mirror <laughs> all I know is um we arrived and uh then everything was blank until about 11 a.m when I woke up very sore from being curled up in my passenger seat. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, uh, at least we were, I was in the parking garage, nice and cool, locked up tight, safe in my car, tinted windows and everything. So, I mean like really deep tinted windows. Uh, so it was pretty, pretty safe right by the entrance. Well, not right by the entrance, but like close to the entrance and I was safe. I was secure. Uh, I was knocked out and so, uh, did get myself a little nap. But uh, certainly not the, you know, six hour nap that Sundown got. I'm a little, I'm a little bitter. <laughs> a little bitter. Um, then we got to hang out for a little bit, grab a snack. And, uh, well, I diamond painted. I took a little uh, diamond painting kit with me. And uh, thank you, by the way. Tanya for that. Uh, I did take those with me. The smaller, uh, the set of series, like the series set, whatever. I, I took that with me. I did get to work on that for the other like three hours uh, that I was awake and waiting for him in the waiting room. Took my little lap board desk situation and um, yeah, use the, the standard tools that the kit comes with because I wasn't trying to travel with, you know, you know, rulers and oh, I did take a ruler, but I wasn't trying to travel with like pens and putties and uh, containers and trays and stuff. I was just, you know, trying to travel light. So I used what was provided unto me within the kit, with the exception of I added a ruler. Um, and I got to work on that for a little bit while I waited on him. Of course, I was working on my horror hubby, Mikey. And uh, then we we got to have a little lunch together. A little, well, not even a lunch. I can't. We can't call it that. That's an insult to lunch. We had a, a little snack together in the car. And then, oh, my drill's already on there. Then I had to um, wait for him. I diamond painted out in the car in the parking garage literally I poured this tray and there was one B pay attention mush um I diamond painted for a little while and socialized with some of you like on Facebook and responded to comments and stuff in the car while he got his MRIs and then we went uh we left the hospital at around I think quarter till 6 p.m. So we got there 7 30 a.m. We left there at about a quarter till 6 p.m. We stopped down the way at Lion's Choice which is like I can't let him hear me say this or he'll like I don't know be infuriated but it's kind of like Arby's, but better. I mean, he wouldn't be mad about that part, but the comparison to Arby's, um, he'd be mad about that. So, uh, it is, um, yeah, that's what it is. It's a roast beef shop. And I did it again, you guys. I poured a whole tray of M's and there was literally one or two M's. I don't know what I'm doing with myself right here. <laughs> Um, and so we did stop and do, do that for, for dinner. And, uh, then we hit the road and drove home and got home around midnight. And so, oops, we had a straggler. Oopsie. I hear little tippy tappy toes, little puppy tippy tappy toes coming to check on mommy. Hi puppy. Um, so yeah, when we got home uh, about midnight, the uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning when we left was lots of thunderstorms, a squall line blew through here, and that must be Charlotte because she's opening the gate. <laughs> the goofy girl. She's been trying to get in the craft room. She she's wanting me to to teach her how to diamond paint. So she's yeah. She ready to go to bed? Yeah, that makes two of us. <laughs> but um, yeah. So we we got home at like midnight. Uh, the night that we left and and the 
No, well, the morning we left and the night before we had squall lines coming through some really dicey weather. Uh, Arkansas, Oklahoma, uh, Missouri, Tennessee, Texas, maybe even. I'm looking for X. I'm not just sitting here like, there it is. Um, my eyes, my brain cannot identify an X. Sorry. So, um, that was fun. I didn't get much sleep before we left either. I took a little nap. But, you know, with the, the booms and house rattling and dogs antsy because of the weather and stuff. Um, you know, I, I elected to get up and stay up and supervise the storm activities uh, while sundown slept. Because that is a trash drill if I ever saw one. Because, um, you know, he does the driving. He likes to drive. He used to drive truck. Well, like, you know, semi-truck situation, long distance. Uh, so he prefers to drive. He likes to drive. And uh, I like him to be rested when he drives. So uh, I did let him sleep. I took one for the team and I stayed up and, and uh, you know, was the storm supervisor. And worked on some diamond painting before we left. So my point in this whole long rambly uh, nonsensical mess is that I am very, very tired. <laughs> um, I did not really get much uh, recoup time yesterday either. I just felt like I had lost a whole day of, you know, work and uh, other things and laundry needed done and things around the house and uh I don't know do you guys feel that way when you go on a trip or uh you know whether it's leisure or business or medical or whatever but when you you kind of go on a day trip or even like a weekend trip or something um and you do you come back feeling like agonizing over the time you lost you know oh you know we were gone 22 hours um, and it was like, oh, the things I could have done that I needed to do that are now waiting for me to do. I am now behind, you know, I, I lost so much. I lost a whole day and I felt like I fell a week behind. I came home and there were packages and mail and laundry. And, um, thankfully Leah did the dishes as I asked her to, which was nice. Um, you know, but then you had to put away all the stuff that we took with us and just, oh, uh, sometimes I find that, um, you know, one might think, oh, you know, you get out of the house for a whole day, you get to go somewhere you don't get to see every day and kind of like a little one day mini vacation. No, nope. no, 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 no. <laughs> it is exhausting and dreadful. Um, and now we get to add to it, sort of. I did uh, get in with a doctor up at Barnes, but we are going to be like, um, what is that? Not conjoining, not collaborating. We're going to be, um, you know, we're combining. There we go. Combining is the word. We're going to be combining our appointments he has to go up there every three months and uh sometimes more frequently than that so every time he has an appointment that's when i'm gonna book my appointments there so we can kind of two bird one stone it we can like you know travel up there together and then be like uh you go your way i'll go mine we'll meet back you know hua right and so uh we don't have to make more extraneous trips i can kind of take care of my business there while we're already going there for his. Yeah. thought that was pretty smart. Pretty common sense. <laughs> I felt smart, but that's like common sense. <laughs> um, so yeah. And then I uh, came back and the, the huge uh, second first anniversary haul was waiting for me and you know, all the, all the things. So I still haven't like fully recovered. I'm hoping, I was hoping that I would get to sleep in tomorrow, 
morning, but then, uh, you know, doth hair works tomorrow morning and the next day and the next day. That was something else that we came home to is she's like, I got my work schedule. Uh, I work the next seven days and only have next Thursday off. Like, but otherwise I work every day. And I was like, oh, well, I mean, yay for paycheck. Boo for, you know, um, oh, I missed one. Boo for having kind of special needs dogs that constantly need monitored. And someone constantly needs to be here that, with them. Uh, which is usually me. So, sucks, sucks for me. Uh, but good for her. Good for her. Money's never a bad thing. To, to obtain, to earn. Um. So, yeah, I, I, I feel like uh, I'm never going to catch up on sleep. Can you ever really? I've heard the saying or people, or, is it a saying or an argument that once you lose sleep, you can never like catch up. You can't, it's lost, it's gone. Um, yeah. <laughs> Mushy's lost. Mushy's gone. <laughs> Um, but hey, doing the, coming home to all those surprises, those canvases and stuff, oh, that was super fun. And then, um, the alien, my alien putty order came in today and we had some PR packages waiting, which we'll, we'll get to that in the future, not too far off because, um, you know, I want to be a responsible reviewer, but I, I've missed you guys. I've missed um, rambling at you. <laughs> hey, I like to I like to think I'm conversating with you, but let's be real. I'm kind of just tonight anyway. I'm kind of just rambling at you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you know, but I've missed I've missed this. We haven't done a proper whip and chat. I've been feeling very um, reviewy and. Uh, spending your money lately for you, you know, <laughs> like, hey guys, check out this cool thing and <laughs> bad influence mushy. I've been, I've been on the bad, the bad, good, the good, bad influence train uh, and I kind of need a break from it. So I'm glad to be here whipping and chitting with you guys. I said chit like C-H-I-T, just so, like chit chat, chit, chit and chatting. Okay. That makes anybody feel better and clarifies what I actually said. I said chit, like chit chat. You're welcome. Um, so we had some, um, we had some excitement in the YouTube diamond painting creator, you know, channels world this week. We had craftyish Kristen another diamond painting creator here on YouTube. If you don't know her, go check her out. Like I said, craftyish Kristen. She hit her 1k goal uh, earlier this past week. Yay! Woohoo! I can't be too loud. Everybody's trying to like chill. So, uh, and I think the pupper schnupps um, either went to bed or are going soon. So, um, that is not a facetious woohoo. That is a mushy has to be quiet. So, woohoo is like the best I can give you. Um, I promise. So, woohoo! Um, and then we had Diamond Painting with Jack hit the 1K. Woohoo! Oh, shoot. Uh, I just, I just cursed and probably edited it out. I'm sorry. Oh, shoot. Uh, I was being too loud. Uh, sorry. But, ee, yay, woohoo. Oh my gosh, my camera's being silly. Um, then we had, uh, diamonds and stuff. Wendy, did we hit 500? I believe so. Yay. Woohoo! We got that milestone. Um, Di uh, Diamond Crafts by Eileen has been hosting Wings and Things, which is like the second, this is the second canvas for that event that we're working on. 
Um, that's been looking very successful, seeing lots of activity and buzz on Facebook and the Paint Along with Friends Facebook group and uh, on my Facebook page, the people that are, you know, not subscribe, people that are uh, joined on my Facebook page group situation have been flashing their canvases and for the event and I've been seeing lots of videos in the YouTube sphere. I got to see Eileen post the whip parade for the event and, um, it made me realize like uh okay mushy uh you, you need to you need to step up your your speed game here we need to april is coming to an end <laughs> it is closing in on me fast and i need to um, get to getting on this one and get it done because then we have a may event that hopefully i will be able to participate in i plan to but uh yeah as you know life goes i i don't like i hate making promises um because i can't guarantee i can keep them so i can only say i intend to participate uh but life happens and so I always like to leave myself that out like I don't promise but I intend so I do intend on participating have canvases picked out for May's event hosted by crafty chef Laura uh, in the with the theme of um, the theme of uh, celebration I couldn't think of the word celebration and uh, we should be getting some information on what celebration is exactly entails pretty soon the rumor on the street is that um celebration is going to be pretty much any canvas that celebrates you you know that uh, you feel celebrates something means some kind of celebration type of jive to you and um I'll, i will be bringing the um i will be bringing a it's going to be uncharacteristic for this channel i'll tell you that uh and for anyone who comes here specifically and exclusively because uh hi dark and creepy um my canvas will not necessarily be dark and creepy i mean an argument could be made that it that it is dark and creepy thematically um by virtue of the subject matter but really um it is not <laughs> dark and creepy i i will be doing a diamond painting in memoriam and celebration of the life and love of two of my beloved pets that have crossed the rainbow bridge uh, Sadie and my doggy soulmate Jensen um, I miss them incredibly and I uh, think about them literally every day and they lived a life and they were good and happy and uh, they were loved and joyful and all that stuff and I just wanted to use the opportunity to do a canvas dedicated to that and celebrate the fact that they uh, were a part of my life and, uh, you know, yeah, kind of, I mean, so see, dark and creepy, you could, you could make an argument, you know, that it's a little morbid or macabre, but... Uh, I see it as a celebration that I had that joy in my life. So um, that's the diamond painting I would like to do. We're also going to be kidding up that um, spectral girl that's going through like the jack-o'-lantern forest that I unbagged for you guys in a PR kit a week or two ago. Uh, there was just... Uh, a pretty in my opinion a pretty overwhelming response to that canvas uh of people wanting to see it done wanting to see it get worked up wanting to see how the canvas straightened out if it 
you know, because it did have some wrinkles on the back. Is that going to be okay? Was I, you know, am I able to get those out? Is it going to affect the canvas, etc.? Um, how the ABs are going to look. Some of the pops of color in there excited a few people. Uh, it's a little on the cutesy side, but, you know, I, I got it because I liked it, so I'll do it. And uh, it was by far the most requested workup that I have had yet. Um, so we'll be kidding that up and working on that uh, when we're done with this one as well. I'd Ideally, I'd like to get this one finished up and start working on that and maybe even finish it by the end of the month. Um, I may have, take a pause in that though. We'll see. In a couple days, uh, I may have the occasion or the itch, if you will, to kit something up just for me. Um, a little something, to, you know, just for me, just because. Margarita, I'm looking at you. Okay, don't read into that. Don't read into that. I know you super sleuth. And you probably heard that and immediately thought, thought what I know you thought. Because you've been hunting down, you've been, you've been, you've been sussing out some vital dates in my life. <laughs> Don't read into that. Uh, I'm just going to, you know, have a me day. So, there you go. <laughs> uh, I am Taurus. Hear me roar. Moo. Moo. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, that's kind of, kind of what's going on. Kind of the plan. I didn't really have, you know, a plan much to talk about, uh, you know, with you guys. I just, I just sit down and work on this canvas. Every time I think I'm done with the hashtag, I find another one that I missed. Yep. Let's see. Like right there. I've been doing that a lot lately. Like, okay, well, I plugged all my holes and then I take another look and I'm like, Ooh, I missed one. Okay. Now I got them all. And then I'll take one more look and Ooh, I missed one. Um, I'm, I'm missing a lot lately. <laughs> Yikes. Um, D I need the big D. There I go again, looking for the big D. That seems to be a reoccurring theme lately. I, it, is that like subliminal messaging or what? This really is a soft putty. I kind of feel like I am getting close. Maybe I'm just, I'm a hard presser. So these softer putty formulas uh, and I sometimes don't jive real well. I tend to gravitate toward the harder of the alien putties. Uh, the harder and the drier, the more I like them. I'm trying to put my finger on why exactly. Uh, I think it's because I'm a hard presser. Could be because I use a ruler and and they're more, those harder, stiffer, drier putties are more resilient. I don't know. I think I've narrowed it down to kind of it's just a feel thing. Like, I just like the feel. Of, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm still, I, I shouldn't try to figure anything out at, you know, 12 o'clock at night. That's kind of the moral of that story. Um, but yeah. What are you guys working on right now? I've seen some of them, uh, the works in the Facebook group. I, I guess I could mention since I've like said it 15 times now we do have a Facebook group it's a dark and creepy diamond painting on Facebook it is a private group for uh, subscribers to the channel you must be a subscriber to gain entry into the dark and creepy diamond painting kingdom on Facebook um, I do check so uh, there's a little button and when you look up the page on Facebook and you click join or apply or something, I, something like that. And it'll ask you some questions. One of them being your, um, YouTube subscriber name. Like what name are you subscribed to dark and creepy diamond painting on YouTube with? And, uh, if you don't have your subscriptions on and I can't verify your subscriber, I'm sorry. Um, you might have to send me a message and be like, you know, I'll turn on my subscription list for just a second, Mush. 
for you to, to verify me. But then I got to turn it back off and that's fine too. Uh, but I have to be able to verify that you're a subscriber for you to gain entry. Why? That is because, um, of a lot of things. Right? I do a lot of sneak peeks over there. Uh, you know, we, I do, do, I do, do, there it is. Uh, I was waiting for it. I do do some, um, D stashes over there. And that's, that's for subscribers to my channel. It's my way of, of saying, and by D stash, I mean like free diamond paintings. They just uh, pay the shipping. Um, not a sales thing. Uh, I, I don't make any money off it and I'm not trying to. Um, but no, I, I that is uh, one of my the ways I can say thank you to my subscribers for giving me their time and uh, support. So yeah, right now it is ex oops, right now it is exclusively for subscribers to the channel. Someday, if it's something that I want or or the subbies want, I may open that up to the public. Um, you know, because I I want to I want everybody who wants a little dark and creepy diamond painting in their life to get that dose. But right now, we're kind of uh, our own little secret society right now, our, our own little subby club. So um, yeah, if you're interested, go check it out. Let me know uh, your subby name, have your subscriptions turned on, at least, you know, until I've approved you so I can verify you are a subscriber. And then you can, you know, do whatever you want. Obviously, turn them back off or leave them on, whatever. Um, so there's that. Also, since I'm talking about it, I might as well mention, if you want to elevate your subscriber status a little more, get some access to extra perks... Um, we do have channel memberships. If you go to the dark and creepy YouTube channel page, there should be a button below my ugly mug that says join. And when you click that, it'll show you what levels of channel membership are available and what perks you would get if you chose to join each one of those, you know, any one of those said levels. And if you see something that appeals to you, um, there it is for you. Uh, there are tiers with uh, special emojis and little icons by your name. You get recognized. YouTube does it automatically. You get recognized on my channel page. Um, and uh, like a banner shout out situation. You do get a shout out in the description box of every one of my videos, regardless of your tier. Tier one does get the um, emojis and GIFs and uh, icons. The emojis can be used in comments or live chats. And it says that you guys have access to GIFs, but I don't know how that all works. I don't see a GIF option in, in our live chats. Uh, maybe it's for premieres. Maybe we should do a premiere soon and test it. I don't know. Um, but that's what you get for tier one. And sometimes I uh, toss you guys uh, members only video, usually in the form of like a blooper reel so that you can laugh at me um, when I catch, can catch myself, which is quite often actually, uh, catch myself being particularly dumb and saying things particularly unintelligent. I will share that with you and we can laugh at me together. Uh, tier two is all that fun plus early access to videos. Uh, occasionally, I haven't done it really yet, but um, if ever, well, I guess maybe I have a couple times, but uh, you get access to um, private like membership community tab posts and uh, you get early access to videos so when I upload them you get access to watch the videos sometimes I, I try to do my best to give you guys at least like 24 hours preview but sometimes it doesn't work out that way and I apologize sometimes it's less sometimes it's none at all uh, kind of like this one's gonna be only because I was doing the traveling and and you know, here I am filming tomorrow's video or uh, tomorrow. I mean, it's already tomorrow now at this point. Um, I'd, and there's just not really the time 
for me to give you that extra, but generally uh, you do get early access to, I would say what, 80, 75%, 80% of my videos. You get to preview uh, at least 24 hours early and comment and all that stuff. That's for tier two. Also, there will occasionally be polls. If I'm like, hey, what direction should I go or what canvas should I do next? Or should I participate in this event? Or, you know, whatever. Uh, I will put it up and let the members guide the, ch the channel when I come to a fork in the road uh, to get some power and control over the content on the channel. And then um, I think there's a members only chat situation for the live chats. I uh, don't know how that works, but it says it's there. So there's that. I'm sure there's something else that I'm probably forgetting. And then the tier three is, um, how was I wanting to do this? Do I want to go straight down or do I want to go up? I think I'm just going to, I don't know, work my way up. Why not? The tier three is access to, oh, I'm sorry. Tier two, I also do give you guys exclusive videos from time to time uh, blooper videos and, um, you know, just, just me and me and you guys videos. Uh, you do get access to those occasionally as well that are just for your tier and higher. Um, but then tier three is, uh, where we do adult explicit diamond paintings. Uh, so it's kind of like, not dark and creepy ones, just regular ones, but it's kind of like diamond painting after dark. <laughs> uh, so if that's something that you're interested in, um, we do keep it, um, you know, I do endeavor to keep it mature. Uh, everyone who is a member of that tier, I've not had any problems with anyone uh, being ignorant or anything like that. It is uh, an artistic expression situation we analyze like and review the art and the canvases and uh, the color palettes and stuff like that so it's artsy fartsy if you're interested um in that oh, that uh, can i still i can still use that even though it's a little elevated all right that's what tier three is uh tier three just got their own little haul courtesy of sundown much like oh what am i doing much like you guys got um nope don't want to do that mush much like uh we had that uh second first anniversary gift that sundown got the 10 canvases for the normal dark and creepy avenue here the normal main dark and creepy area uh the tier three he did haul us a, a, a small mini haul for that sector of the channel too so that was really fun so yeah if anyone's curious that's kind of uh, i'm sure i'm like leaving stuff out so if you're if you're curious like i said it's on the channel homepage if you're interested uh and seeing what it's about what you would get is it worth it to you is it not you know that's up to you. That's, that's, you determine that. But yeah. All right, guys. Well, we finished that section and now I need to edit this and get this out to you for tomorrow. Don't I? I do. So I guess we'll kind of leave it at that. I'm sorry. I didn't have like a lot to, to really no fun story about sundown crawling under the house, uh, smearing poo all over the place. And, uh, <laughs> um, you know, no, no, nothing funny and exciting. We just kind of, you know, shoot the poo for a little bit. Uh, hope you don't mind, but, um, I will, I don't know. I'll try to shove them under the house to roll around in the, in the crud, uh, if for next time. Sound like a plan? It sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> sounds, sounds like it could be fun. All right, you guys. Well, thank you for hanging out with me and working on my Wings and Things whip. But now it's time for me to go and work on this some more while I edit this for you to see tomorrow. So um, 
I guess, you know, bye from past me to future you. Stay naughty. Bye. Thank you.